provide these donations through our virtual food drive, but obviously there has to be volunteers to help keep this thing running with there are more than 200 partners. Stan, we're in the volunteer room. Uh, tell me how things kind of work there at Dare to Care. Well, you know, uh, Alex, um, volunteers have played such a great role in Dare to Care uh, since our beginning. It was volunteers that founded Dare to Care when a nine-year-old boy died of hunger on Thanksgiving Eve in 1969. And people said that's unacceptable in a community as great as Louisville. And for 50 years, volunteers have played a critical role. In our volunteer room today, we have, you'll see, 16 lockers, and those are des all designed to be shared uh, by two or three people. So on a typical morning, we'd have uh, upwards to 25 volunteers a shift helping us get the job done. Uh, today, that's not possible, and we're down to a maximum of six volunteers per shift. And of course, you know, these partners are mostly, you know, staffed with volunteers, some that are even aging. So, of course, you guys are actually looking to get younger people involved. Why? Right. You know, um, Dare to Care's mission depends on other nonprofits in this community. And those nonprofits also are fueled by uh, volunteers. So that's a key resource that they use. Their work has also been impacted, not just in how they uh, have to change their operations to get food to people, but also just uh, the age of their volunteers. People that volunteer during the day are typically retired, they're older, and those folks have been more at risk and who's in the interest of public health, they've been staying home. And so our partners have really worked hard and we've worked with them to try to get them staffed by a younger core of volunteers. Absolutely, and we know that kind of the dynamics of your partners as well as Dare to Care, the food bank itself, has kind of changed um, since the COVID-19 pandemic. And of course, that's why we're hosting this virtual food drive. Uh, you still can donate. Of course, we want you to. You can head over to our website, uh, wlky.com, or even our Facebook page, and there's a simple way to donate. Just a couple dollars will help.